The Mason OER MetaFinder from George Mason University is an aggregate of several OER repositories. Let's try a basic search in the OER MetaFinder. On the advanced search page, we have a few options to consider. If you know the title of the OER you want, or if you want to see what's available from a certain author, you can use these boxes here. You can also adjust the date range of the materials if you felt that was necessary. When starting out, it is usually recommended to just start with keywords in the full record box at the top. These boxes over here on the right can show you all of the different repositories that will be in your search. By clicking on the plus sign next to where it says all categories, you'll see all of the different sites found in the search. You could customize your search to only include certain sites or you can leave all of them checked off. I have noticed that materials pulled from the deeper search options are items in the public domain, meaning they are much older. In most cases, when looking for course content, we want current materials. So if I'm looking for materials for psychology, I would probably uncheck the deeper search option and keep it to OER specific sites. So let's type in psychology and see what our search yields. With the MetaFinder, searches take a minute or two since it is searching several different repositories at once. You can look at this bar up here in the top right corner to see the status of your search. Give it a few more seconds after the search is complete as you will often see this message pop up indicating the search found a few more results which you can choose to add. The results list is typical of many databases. The results are listed in the center of the screen with limiters available on the left hand side. Above the first search result there is a limit to feature for collections. It will default to all collections but if you click on the drop down you can see the different repositories within the search and how many results are found in each. It is usually easier to go through the collections individually. Let's take a look at what's available from the Open Textbook Library. Once we select that option, the list will limit to just materials found from that repository, and we can start looking at results. As you scroll through the list, you'll see each result can list the authors or multiple authors or editors, the publisher, and a brief synopsis of what the book contains or source contains. If the resource has been reviewed, you will see it indicated underneath the title with a star rating. By clicking on the title of the resource, you can visit that resource itself. What you will come to learn is that OER in the Mason OER MetaFinder is indexed in several different repositories. As you can see here, the entry we selected from the OER MetaFinder was from the Open Textbook Library, but the book itself is from OpenStax. Over time, this gets easier to navigate, but the positive side is that materials are thoroughly indexed and readily available to find. This was just a basic, basic overview of the OER MetaFinder, but there are many, many options with this, within this repository, such as the option to create your own account if you went up to the top right corner and clicked on sign in and create an account. This would give you the option to save searches, add results to my library, which is found with this folder icon, and more.